Uh -oh. Hi, Facebook. Hi. I'm Libby Cunningham here with WCPO.com, and I'm joined by Steve Casino, and we're at Gallery OTR, which is located on Walnut Street, sort of near Lachey's and sort of near Coffee, Coffee Emporium. They've been open since August, and Steve is a painter of peanuts. Yes. Something that you've been doing for how long? Uh, six years. So he's been painting peanuts for right. six years, and we're going to show you guys a little bit more of this here in a second, because these things are intricate and <laughs> awesome works of art. Uh, first and foremost, we always ask when we're live on Facebook, drop in the comments, tell us where you're watching from. And especially if we have any fans of Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Nirvana, The Beatles, you'll definitely want to stay tuned because Steve has found a way to paint the likeness of <laughs> these characters and famous people on a peanut. So what I'm going to do right now is I know that Steve has a lot of fans on social media and on Facebook, so we're going to share his page here on his phone. If you see us on the phone and we'll be taking your questions down here. So you've been doing this for six years. Yes. How did you start? Okay, so um, I like peanuts, naturally, and I like to eat peanuts in the shell. And one day uh, while I was eating them, I noticed that peanuts look like people. They have like a little head and torso. So a as a practical joke, I drew myself on one, and I walked over to my friend who was also eating peanuts, and I said, hey, Neil, this peanut kind of looks like me. And, and he looked up, and I showed him this. <laughs> So that's the first ever peanut <laughs> right. that Steve has painted. Yeah, it's a little worn out, but it, it kind of looks like me. I actually had hair back then, but, but that's how it started. And then it got a little elaborate after that. I, I decided to make my favorite band, the Ramones. And, and it's weird because you can find peanuts with all kinds of postures and stuff. And so Joey Ramone, the lead singer of the Ramones, is kind of hunched over. So I, I found a really tall, skinny peanut, and I made him. And... Uh, that that piece was actually in the Ramones 50th anniversary show no way. in Queens, New York, and then it went to the Grammy Museum in Los Angeles. That is so, awesome. Yeah. So they are not the only music artists that you've done. So guys, I'm gonna right. like step around him right here. <laughs> so these are the Beatles, correct? With the yes. Beatles? Yes. So check this out. I'm coming on in, guys. Yeah, it's their first appearance on the Ed Sullivan show, and Ed Sullivan is back there. Look at that. So a really, really famous moment, obviously, in entertainment history. How long does it take you to do a piece like this one? I would say that took about 50 hours. 50 hours. Yeah, maybe 10 hours a, a person. So you did each person individually? Yes. And so do you do this off of something like a photograph? Yes, I, I, I do thorough research and I, I find all these people and I find the right poses and I find, you know, it's like I have to be accurate. So Paul McCartney plays a left-handed bass, so he has a left-handed bass there. and. Uh, you know, even down to the detail in Ringo's drums, like he had these uh, purple metal flake sparkly drums, but they're black and white here. That's awesome. So. Because like it was on TV. So we yes. have viewers here. We have Kay. Hi, Kay. Hi, Becky. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Chastity from mm -hmm. Marymont, Mount Moro. Um, hi. <laughs> hi. Sarah has a question. So do you get your peanuts anywhere special or do you go somewhere like Kroger, or uh, the Market? I actually have a company called Hubs that sends them to me for free. Oh, wow. Yes. So they, and I get them from Kroger, I get them from various sources, but it's basically, I have this huge bin, and it's like, say, I want to make someone like David Bowie. So I, David Bowie has a long, skinny body and like kind of sure. a narrow head. So I might have to look through like 200 peanuts until I find one that looks like him. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And then this is the one coconut. So this <laughs> is Hagrid and Harry Potter. If we have any Harry Potter fans here, this is actually for sale at the gallery right now and how long do you think it took you to do the coconut and the peanut together uh 20 hours for the pair for the pair yeah and you can actually see I, I leave the backs raw so that you know the origin of it so like harry potter is a peanut and and the owl there hedwig is that his name hedwig i think it's hedwig <laughs> harry yeah. potter fans let us know <laughs> hi ray um we're happy you're watching the way from phoenix and kristen wants to know have you done johnny depp before Yes, multiple ways. So we've done John Depp. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands, the Mad Hatter. I think that's it. And and uh, Jack the Pirate. So that's a lot of them, guys. Right. So if we have any Game of Thrones fans watching. <laughs> oh wait. Somebody asked for Nirvana. Oh, we asked for Nirvana oh. first. You want to see Nirvana? So here is Nirvana. You said it was Jason. Jason Wilcher said Nirvana now. Nirvana. Well, here's Nirvana right now, guys. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but it looks pretty accurate to me. Yeah, and that's from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. 
Oh wow! Yeah. So you had to watch that a lot. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And over here we do have Game of Thrones for any Game of Thrones fan. So this one is pretty epic. <laughs> Take a look at this. So we have how many people were in this? Twelve. Twelve. How long did it take you to do this? Uh, jeez. Ten. Well, I was actually MTV hired me to make this. So MTV hired yeah, me. Yeah, right. To make this. They okay, guys. they use this to recap episodes. So after each episode on Monday morning, they would make these as puppets and they would act out the episodes. Oh my gosh! Kind yeah. of like remember that clay show they had on MTV? Right. Exactly. Same sort of idea, but with peanuts. <laughs> right. And so this is for sale. Yes. This is for sale. So it can take a lot of time <laughs> and effort to make one of these. How? What are your prices like if someone were to come to the gallery? For something they're really interested in. Uh, like this is one thousand nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Wow, that's <laughs> a lot of time. Though. Yes, tons. It's very accurate, and we just talked about David Bowie. Right, and this is the first time many of these are for sale because mostly I do commissions, but this is these are ones I've amassed over the last couple of years. Here's David <laughs> Bowie, and so you said we have a question here from Tina Webb. Have you ever done Elvis? And Tina, you are in luck because. I think we have a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Elvis right here. Yeah. Um, thank you, so, Kimberly, for letting us see. know that Hedwig is Harry Potter's Alex right. in a minute. We also have over here There's Freddie Mercury. And this is pretty cool. And what's interesting with these two is if you turn it around, like he said, you can still see the nut in the background. What do we have over here? Okay, this is an obscure band. They're called the Cramps. They're my okay. fa they're my personal favorite band. They might not be yours, <laughs> but I like them very much. And they're no longer together. Most of them are no longer with us. But I just made them recently. Thanks. I've been here to see if you guys have any <laughs> other questions here. So Ashley, this gallery is Gallery OTR, and they are located on Walnut Street in Cincinnati. And do you have a website? GalleryOTR.com. <laughs> GalleryOTR.com, and we actually tag them here on Facebook, so if you have any questions, you can send them a message here on Facebook. I hope that that can answer your question. Reno, same answer to that. That is Gallery OTR. It is here on Walnut Street in the Over the Rhine section of Cincinnati. It's on the end. It's sort of near Lachey's Bar and Coffee Emporium. Let's see here, guys. And so we have a few more to show you. So this is Bob Marley. Yes. <laughs> and you can see here... It's kind of hard to see. I'm trying to bring the photos up to you guys, but they have hair, just distinct outfits. Um, as you said earlier with the Beatles, using the proper hand to play the instrument. It's really pretty cool. And we do have Prince here as well. That's Bob Dylan. Oh, it's Bob Dylan. <laughs> yeah. It's not Prince. It's Bob Dylan. <laughs> trying to be accurate. And so you have kind of branched out too. I've seen some paintings of characters on Tic Tacs. Yes, I have done that. And how long does it usually take <laughs> you to do something like that? Maybe about five hours. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So that's really... Yeah, it's like, it's really intricate. I use a really tiny paintbrush. And the results, uh, I've gotten a really good response for it. I'm, I'm not going to give up my day job for it, though, sure. because it really hurts my eyes. Sure. So. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, once more, I'm here with Steve Casino. We're going to have a story on WCPO.com later, and this is Gallery OTR. They are open every day from, well, they're open tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So thank you, guys. And, and I'm SteveCasino.com. We'll add the link here in the comments. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Thanks.